Hey, what's going on guys? In the last video, we learned how to set up customers in QuickBooks Online. In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up vendors. Well, what are vendors? You in the back, I'm glad you asked. Anybody or any company who sells your business a product or a service. So look at restaurants, for example. They don't make their own beer uh, in the back. They don't have their own farm in the back. They get their beer and wine from a distributor and they get their food from anywhere to local farms to giant food distributors like Cisco. Uh, a lot of the big, uh, a lot of the big chain restaurants get a lot of their stuff from Cisco. Vendors are an expense for your business, and that's where we're going to find them in QuickBooks Online. Vendors are not employees. Uh, they can be 1099 independent contractors, but they are not your W-2 employees. The difference is that it's up to independent contractors to pay their own taxes, and. And we're going to get more into vendors later on in the playlist in regards to billing and dealing with kind of the depths of independent contractors. But for the sake of the tutorial, let's create a vendor, pay the vendor, and track that transaction in our expenses. So from our dashboard, let's go to expenses right over here. And let's click on vendors, just like that. Pay no attention to these. Now let's go up here to the right-hand corner and go to new vendor. Say we just got a bill. We got a bill from PJ... Johnson and it's kind of like the last video we want to track all of our vendors and customers and clients information everything from email to address to notes and memos on how they like to be paid and all that such so but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna go and create first name last name company we'll call it ice baby ice ice baby beer God, I can't spell beer distributors and we are way bigger than Southern or Diageo or any other beer distributor in the world and let's say we got a bill from I don't know $175 just like that 175 bucks and then you know you can go into the depths of it when you want to pay them this and that do on receipt net 15 net 15 30 uh, net 15 days uh, 30 business days 60 business days phone number, all this business, business ID number um, for tax information. But for the sake of tutorial, let's just say we created this dude. Uh, I don't, I mean, you could create a fake email, send it to yourself. Let's just go ahead and save it just like that. So what do we have right here? We have PJ Johnson over on the right hand side. It says we have a balance of $175. Well, uh, let's go ahead and make a payment. We've got some options down here. I'm just going to click on make a payment. And just for the sake of the tutorial, we will send him a $175 check. So we've got bill down here. Um, what kind of options does it give us? Does it give us a category? We'll go to job supplies. Let's go up to job supplies, meals and entertainment. Yeah, we're buying beer, meals and entertainment, just like that. So we're going to save that. It's going to take us back to... Where is our bill? No, thank you. And where did we go? Let's exit out of this really fast. Let's go ahead and just make the payment. That last part, we just categorized it. So what I'm gonna do is I mailed out a payment uh, and I, I wanna go to save and close or save and new. I wanna go to save and close. So we've got our vendor in here, PJ Johnson. He works for, that's the person that we deal with. The company that we're dealing with is called Ice Ice Baby. As of now, we don't have opening balances with any of our vendors. That's a very good thing. Now, let's go over to expenses and we should see that that showed up as a meals and entertainment expense right there. Perfect. Here's our expenses, this and that. It's under the category of meals and entertainment. That is perfect. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to import an Excel spreadsheet into our QuickBooks Online to save us a ton of time. Maybe you have all of your vendors, hundreds, thousands, this and that, you have a giant company on an Excel spreadsheet. We're gonna look how to import that in and we're gonna do it and it's gonna save us a lot of time. If you don't have a playlist, just jump to the ninth video. I'm kind of losing track what video we're on. If you have no interest in checking out or learning how to do that, just go ahead and skip forward. All right guys, good luck with this and we'll see you in the next video.